Hey, what's up? It is Peter Sharon, and I am a veteran of the video game and movie visual effects industry, and a lover and critter of comics, and today we're going to take a look at Graveyard Shift Volume 1. And uh, first thing off, I just want to, you know, look at the book. Very, very nice book. Very nice book. Uh, I think it's, it was, I counted, it was 38 pages of story. I like the, you know, it has a nice square back. That's the names on there. You know, really nice. I mean, this cover, like the paperweight and everything on this, awesome. Like inside this, like the, the kind of thickness and weight of this paper is really, really nice. Super nice looking book. I even still got my trading card in the pack. I haven't taken that out. <laughs> It's funny because I actually had to stop for a second to do something for my dogs, and I used my bookmark. Oh, shameless promoting. But anyways, let's get inside this front cover here. And we see that we got Mark Poulton, who is the story and writer. I think, I hope I said that name right. Uh, story and artist John Malin, colorist Anthony George, and letters by the great... Eric Weathers, who has a Indiegogo campaign too called Flying Fortress, which is still on in demand. So if you haven't backed that, go check that book out. I think it's like 200 plus pages. A graphic novel like that is awesome for a great price. So get that before you can't. Just like this comic right here. Unless you backed it a really high tier for volume two. But uh, if you didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, this comic was really cool. Like, I actually ended up backing this kind of. I think I was just watching like an Ethan stream or something and saw John was on there, not really knowing much about John at the time. And I saw the book and, you know, went to the campaign. Like, this is one of the images that was on the campaign right here, which is on the back cover. And I saw this and. You know, Ethan's always talking about, hey, let's get that 90s look going. And when I saw this, that's exactly what I saw. You know, it took me back to seeing, you know, Jim Lee's X-Men, you know, Rob Liefeld's, uh, you know, the X-Force and frickin', uh, yeah, everything they did back then, like going into Image, all that stuff. And like I to instantly got that feel seeing this artwork and going, yeah. I'll give this a try, and the only thing I'm kind of complaining and stuff that I'm upset that I didn't do was I didn't back and get a second copy <laughs> and stuff, and that I only did the one copy because I kind of wasn't sure at the time, and I wish I would have. Once I got the book, though, and saw how nice it was, I was kind of punching myself because I, you know, I should have got a second one, but I made up for it, John, on uh, Graveyard Shift 2. You know, I made up for that and everything with backing it because this is a great comic. Uh, really good story. I don't want to get too much into the story. I'll read this little thing here, though, for those of you not familiar with Graveyard Shift. This is, what if the Universal Monsters were the X-Men? That's the question Mark Poulton, uh, books he's done, Evangeline, I hope I said that right, Savage Hawkman, and John Malin, who did Cable and Thunderbolts answer in this hard-hitting sci-fi horror graphic novel. Scientist Vladimir Blood, Lilith Mayhew, and her husband, head of security Mick Mayhew, are working on advanced human regeneration by the mysterious Atlantis Corporation. Betrayed, murdered, and put into their own experiments, they are reborn with superhuman abilities. They are the Graveyard Shift, and they are all that can stop the rising supernatural evil from taking over the world. Dun, dun, dun. I like it. And, yeah, I don't want to get really into the story and stuff like that. It's really good setup. Uh, you know, you get to know the characters. You get to see a lot of stuff. I really enjoy kind of where it was going, who you get kind of introduced to, you know. Uh, and it's neat at the end of the book because it is a little bit bigger. So we'll go kind of let me flip through here to the where I'm trying to find. But so at the end, you actually get bonus material, uh, which is a little bit more artwork, 
uh, some kind of you know storyboarding stuff in there, which is really neat. I don't want to show it all off because I know people uh, did order the alternate cover one. If you were smart before John closed down the campaign for volume two, uh, you know you got that one, so that way you could get both stories. But I mean, yeah, again, you know, kind of like just like a lot of these comics coming from these guys in Indiegogo. I mean, everything is just great, fantastic art. I mean. You know, inside out, the colors, you know, the stories are, are fun. And, you know, I'm really excited to kind of <laughs> see where mainly gets going. Because, I mean, this one already had some some fun kind of crazy stuff happening in it. You know, and so, uh, you know, I can't wait. And, and John has some really, really great art and stuff. But, yeah, I really enjoyed it. You know, I mean, yeah. Yeah, these characters are cool, you know, Vlad with the being the vampire and the bride. And then Van Helsing here. Bad guys. But that's about as much as I'll say for the bad guys and most of the story. But yeah, I just want to talk more just kinda of how these books are, the quality. You know, like his you know, I've seen complaints of like people talking about like how much they cost and whatnot, but I mean, you know, again, this isn't your average comic book you know i think it was like i said 38 pages of story in this one book you know and i mean and when you touch this thing and like feel how nice this cover is how nice these pages are you know like the thickness and quality of this like you'll you know you, you're not going to be complaining <laughs> sorry my finger keeps getting in the camera i'm a retard but uh yeah thanks john for making a great product and that's another thing why i'm back in john like great dude solid dude like gets the work done gets it out and you know i'm excited to see what comes uh in the next book uh and like i said you know with eric uh weathers the leather letter for this you know you can see some of his beautiful work here real quick we'll just kind of glance around at a couple things you know uh you know check out his project flying fortress but yeah thanks john for this it's going to kind of flip through a couple things again. I mean, yeah, it's like, you know, I, I, I reread it right now just a little bit ago just because I wanted to kind of, you know, refresh my mind on everything. And yeah, like it still is good. It's still a good second time read through and everything. And I think there's a couple things I kind of forgot. But man, you guys definitely are going to like when you get this. You're like... You know, if you're a fan of really good art, some fun, like, monsters, all that stuff, you are going to like this book. And, uh, Anna, if you see this, <laughs> yeah, I didn't have to pay extra for this cover. But, uh, all right, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, share out. You know, if you have friends that are into comics and haven't really been liking what they've been seeing in the mainstream stuff, DC, Marvel, you know, like... Let them see this stuff. Share this. Show it to them. Uh, let them know that there's really cool indie artists going on. There are so many good platforms, or uh, not platforms, but like campaigns going on right now uh, of so many books. And uh, yeah, I, I just, you know, I can't wait to get more and read more. And, you know, like these guys have really helped kind of get me kind of re energized into like reading comics again, collecting comics again, because. You know, they were just kind of getting boring to me. And so getting these books, these nice big stories, I mean, the only bummer is I got to wait a little bit before the next book, but I don't care. It's worth it. And so, so thank you again, guys, everyone out there. Go back some creators, go read some comics, and be good to each other. <laughs> All right, later.